Hello, everyone. Dr. Jack Wolfson, cardiologist at Natural Heart Doctor. Welcome to day number 17 of the 28-day Happy Heart Month event over here at Natural Heart Doctor. It's a pleasure to be on with you today. Today, we are going to be talking all about parasites. Parasites are anything that live off of a host. So we can think of these as kind of these freeloaders, these bystanders that really don't offer any benefit to us in many cases, but they just kind of leech off us hitching a ride. Think about the barnacle uh, on a whale. Uh, again, it's not really helping out the whale at all, as far as I know. Uh, and again, it's just like feeding off the whale and some of the things there. So it's just a parasite in our system. And we get these parasites from a variety of ways. And I think, you know, our ancestors have been exposed to parasites since the dawn of time. Kind of the big one that people talk about would be Lyme disease. Lyme disease is from Lyme, Connecticut, where it was first kind of popularized. And it's a tick bite, a tick that leads to a parasite in us called Borrelia, Borrelia burgdorferi. Uh, and then there's other co-infections that go along with that. And all of these have the potential to uh, impact people's heart. It can cause symptoms, palpitations, lightheadedness, dizziness. It can cause overt cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, congestive heart failure, you name it. Now, unfortunately, the medical literature doesn't really, and the medical doctors don't recognize or support the idea of chronic Lyme and these chronic co-infections. But I think that we should pay attention to it because, as you know, just because it's not in the medical literature doesn't mean it's not true. And we've seen so many people over the years who've suffered from these parasites and other co-infections. So what we do is essentially we, we test people for the antibodies to these parasites. Again, things like Borrelia, Bartonella, Babesia, uh, Ehrlichia, uh, uh, Tularensis. There's a lot of these different well-known parasites, but they seem to only be recognized as a problem many times in the animals, not necessarily in humans. But again, just because it's not recognized doesn't mean it's not a problem. So we do a blood test. We look for all these different parasites. And then ideally, we would put you on some kind of a detoxification program to clear out the parasites and then repeat the labs and see how we did. So again, the parasites can lead to inflammation, oxidative stress, and then of course, cardiovascular and other diseases. If you have one of these mystery illnesses that nobody can figure out, you may want to consider parasite testing. The company we use, we use Vibrant. It's on our website. The link will be in your, uh, in, in the email. And again, on our site, any doubt, give us a call. Uh, email us health at naturalheartdoctor.com and we can tell you more about parasites. So again, this was uh, uh, kind of a short and sweet uh, presentation talking about parasites. We can go much more into the science and the issues, but again, if in doubt, test, don't guess. Let's figure out what you have. Let's put you on a natural treatment plan uh, to support you on your path to health and wellness. And uh, uh, we promised you, of course, the word of the day today. So the word of the day that goes along with this uh, program is hope. We want to make sure that you've got plenty of hope because you do have hope that your body can heal itself. You can get better. You can recover with by reducing and eliminating pharmaceuticals, avoiding dangerous procedures and surgeries. That's what we do here at Natural Heart Doctor. So I wish you the best today, day number 17 of the 28 day happy heart month. And we will come back tomorrow and every other day in the month of February to give you the best heart health information on your way to the 100 year heart. So again, thank you so much for, for listening. I wish you the best now and forever, and we will see you again tomorrow.